Hello friends. Welcome to this channel. In this video, we will create a code pipeline that is going to be integrated between the GitHub repository and an Elastic Beanstalk environment so that we can have continuous delivery whenever we make changes to our GitHub repository. So without further ado, let's get start the session. So first, here in the Elastic Beanstalk, I have already created an environment and the application with the sample code, but I have not uploaded my code yet. So now what we can do is, we are now going to create a CCD pipeline. So let's search for code pipeline. Here it is. Click on it. And now here, click on create a pipeline. First, let's give it a name. And here, we are going to allow code pipeline service to create a new role for us. So that it can access our resources. So we make sure allow code pipeline to create service role is checked. Then we'll click on next. Now source provider. Here we have different option available, but we are going to select GitHub. And once we select the GitHub, now we have a button to connect to our GitHub account. So we click on that and confirm it. Now here, we need to specify the repository. So let's go to our GitHub account. And here in the repository. And here we find our AWS Node.js EB repository. So let's go in it. So let's select and copy this name here. And we passed it in here. And we going to use the main branch. And here, we going to use GitHub webhook. So it can notify code pipeline whenever changes occur. Which is much better option. So we select that and click on next. Here we are not going to implement a build stage in this. So we will skip that stage build but if there was a build process that needed to occur we could do that here. But we are going to skip that. And then, here we need to select where we are going to deploy to, who our deployment provider is. So there are a number of options here, but we are going to be deploying to Elastic Beanstalk. So let's select that. And now, we need to give code pipeline the details of our application and environment. So let's select the application, and the environment that we have created. And once we done that we can click on next, and we have completed that pipeline. Now let's click on create pipeline. So that has started. And we will give that a few minutes to finish its process and we will come back to it. So now we have got this deployed. Now let's click on this. So it will redirect it to the EBS Elastic Beanstalk. And here, let's click on the URL. So here as you can see, we have successfully deployed our application in it. Now what we will do is, we are going to make a change to our code and see if that pushes or not. So let's go to our repository, and let's go to app.js file. And here what I am going to do is, I am going to make little changes in the title here. So here I will add just, yt channel. So let's commit the change. So let's go to our code pipeline. And if we refresh this, there we can see that we have got a new deploy running there. So it's picked up on there and it's doing new deployment there in progress. So again after few minutes, change will be deployed out to our Elastic Beanstalk environment. So it's been couple of minutes or so and it's already deployed that out. So let's again go back into our EBS. We click on the URL. And there we can see, we have got YT channel there. So that's all pretty good, we have pushed that change through. So that's bring us to the end of this lab. I hope you all guys are clear with it. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.